Hi everyone, welcome back to Yijin Hardware's channel. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the CNC machining process, a key technology in modern manufacturing. Whether you're designing parts for automotive, aerospace, medical, or any other industry, understanding the CNC machining process is essential to creating high-precision, complex components. What is CNC machining? CNC machining, computer numerical control, is a manufacturing process where pre-programmed computer software dictates the movement of tools and machinery to create parts and products from various materials such as metals, plastics, and composites. Unlike traditional machining methods, CNC machining allows for automation, precision, and repeatability in creating complex parts. The CNC machining process, step by step. One, design and CAD modeling. The first step in CNC machining is to create a 3D model of the part using CAD computer-aided design software. This model serves as the blueprint for the part. Engineers input all the dimensions, tolerances, and material specifications at this stage. Once the design is ready, it is converted into a G-code file, which contains instructions that will guide the CNC machine on how to move, where to cut, and what speed to operate. Tip. The more detailed the CAD design, the more accurate the machining will be. 2. Material Selection Now that the design is ready, it's time to choose the right material for the job. CNC machining can work with a wide range of materials including metals, aluminum, steel, titanium, etc. Plastics, ABS, polycarbonate, peak, etc. Composites, carbon fiber, fiberglass, etc. Material choice depends on the part's application, whether it needs to withstand high temperatures, heavy loads, or requires specific mechanical properties. 3. CNC Machine Setup Before starting the actual machining process, the CNC machine needs to be set up. This includes loading the G-code into the CNC machine's controller, securing the material, often onto a machine vise or clamping system, choosing the cutting tools, mills, drills, lathes, etc., based on the material and the design. Once everything is set up, the machine can begin. 4. CNC machining process begins. Here's where the magic happens. Depending on the type of CNC machine being used, like a CNC mill, lathe, or router, the machine will start executing the G-code commands, cutting the material to shape. This could involve milling, turning, drilling, or even grinding. The CNC machine will carefully follow each instruction to carve out the part, removing material layer by layer until the part is finished. There are several types of machining operations that may take place. Milling involves rotating cutting tools to remove material from the workpiece. Turning the workpiece is rotated while a stationary cutting tool removes material, often used for cylindrical parts. Drilling used to create holes in the material with precision. Grinding used for finishing and smoothing surfaces to achieve tight tolerances. 5. Inspection and quality control. Once the part is machined, the next step is quality control. This can involve measuring the part with tools like calipers, micrometers, or CMM, coordinate measuring machines, to ensure it meets the required dimensions and tolerances. If needed, the part may undergo surface finishing, like polishing, anodizing, or coating to improve appearance or durability. Why choose Yijin Hardware for CNC machining? At Yijin Hardware, we specialize in high-precision CNC machining for a wide range of industries. With over 20 years of experience, we can help you bring your designs to life with superior quality and fast turnaround times. If you have a project that requires CNC machining, reach out to us at Yijin Hardware. Our team will help you create custom parts with precision, efficiency, and at a competitive price. Thanks for watching.